President Biden is now renewing his vow to protect gender altering surgeries for children and insulting those who disagree. Just listen to what Biden had to say about the lawmakers pushing to block kids from these procedures. Our fight is far, far from over because we have some hysterical and I would argue prejudice people who are engaged in all what you see going on around the country. It's a it's an appeal to fear and it's appeal that is totally, thoroughly unjustified and ugly. It's wrong that extreme officials are pushing hateful bills, targeting transgender children, terrifying families and criminalizing doctors. These are our kids. These are our neighbors. It's cruel. It is cruel, Mr. President, to allow children to undergo life changing surgeries and take puberty blockers that aren't even approved by the FDA for that use. A new Wall Street Journal op ed is slamming the left's ignorance towards the risk of hormone and puberty blockers for kids, writing, quote, gender affirming care for children is undoubtedly a flashpoint in America's culture. It is also a human experiment on children and teens, the most vulnerable patients. Ignoring the long term dangers posed by unrestricted off label dispensing of powerful puberty blockers and cross sex hormones, combined with the large overdiagnoses of minors as gender dysphoric, borders on child abuse. Emily, what's amazing to me, it's not just the president totally mischaracterizing this, but mm -hmm. the question that was asked to him was about anti-trans, anti-LGBTQ, intimidation and violence among these groups that oppose the anti-trans legislation. So my point is, it's always framed as anti-trans if you are just pro-children not having mastectomies. That's right. There is a language that has been constructed around this entire concept and people plug into it and the question was framed in that language and the president responded in kind, reading his answer, I'm sure, written by some 27-year-old aide or someone else and he's just reading what is before him. I think it is rich that someone who purports to have faith doesn't even acknowledge his grandchild hmm. and then calls this hateful and cruel when the subject and the tenor behind those that that are blocking and opposing this bill is for the welfare and the sanctity of our treasured children. Yeah, and Pete, meanwhile, you know, the Washington Post, they call it anti-trans policies, but they note a majority support it. Uh, we'll pop it up. 68%, 68% oppose puberty blocking medication for teens. 58% oppose hormonal treatment. I mean, of course, and that's why states that have the ability to protect it are, are, are protecting kids. I mean, gender affirming care is a made up term. It's like saying, I mean, if, you're, if you believe this is something a 13-year-old can choose to do, then 13-year-olds should be, choose to be able to smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol and get tattoos and open gambling accounts. And what, because you believe the judgment of a 12 or 13-year-old to make a life-altering decision where they self-diagnose based on the social pressure. And I agree with you. Joe Biden doesn't know what he's talking about on this. He's reading something some millennial wrote for him yep. uh, who's a radical. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. No, I want to focus on, in particular, these drugs, because this is AbbVie and this is Luprom. Remember, the FDA found 10,000 reports of adverse effects from this medication, and this is what these kids are taking, to be clear here right now, in some states without parental... Uh, uh, it's insane. Yeah, without parental insane. guidance. Thinning hair, fibromyalgia, seizures, migraines, yep. degenerative, spinal, okay. degenerative spinal disc. All of this happening, okay, because of this drug. You know where this is going to go? Uh, y'all, I'll put the business hat on here for a second, is lawsuits. Yes. And AbbVie, the company itself, is, that's where the next leg of the story, I think, is going to go as we go through the political outrage, well, the moral outrage, fine. The Wall, this is going to be a big problem. The Wall Street Journal adding that Lupron, by the way, that in 2016 the FDA had to add a warning for intensified psychiatric problems that could happen. And kids. Uh. What's so gross about this movement here in the United States? Uh, the, the trans groups have made it about politics and it's not, it's about money because these children, you get them started young, they are seven figure multi million dollar patients because these effects are irreversible and they will be on these drugs and having these surgeries throughout their entire lives. Was the Prime Minister of Great Britain standing yes, up he was. there? Okay, let me just point something out really quickly. The countries that led on this have banned these drugs on the in use 
on minors. Finland, 2020, cut back on puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones to minors. Sweden followed suit. Norway, banning the use of these drugs because of side effects. Also because of social contagion, because young girls were coming in in large groups saying, oh, we're trans, we're really boys. And Britain, more recently, the National Health Service shut down Tavistock because doctors were resigning because they were diagnosing autistic and mentally ill kids as transgender. But that clinic shut down. Did he stand up and tell Joe Biden that? No, maybe you should have told him that we're living in crazy town here in the United States. More on number next. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.